and just subtract it. Now you might be thinking, so what does that do? You're about to see. You subtract it by, I would say it was 2, you would subtract it by 2 by 4. By 4, whatever that sum that is. Right, whatever that is. But we're going to leave this number like it is because if you recall, it helps me know exactly how to factor that trinomial. Yes? Because I don't want y plus 1 equals. I want y equals. Okay? And so now I have created a perfect square trinomial which factors down to x plus 1 squared. And in order to keep the equation balanced, since I added something, I had to also subtract it. Because adding 1 and subtracting 1 really ultimately makes no change, right? You like cancel it out. No. You don't want to cancel it out. You're trying to get to this form. Because now you are in the vertex form of the parabola. And this parabola opens how? It opens up. If there's no number in front of here, what's it understood to be? It's understood to be 1. And the vertex of this parabola can now be identified. What is it? Negative 1. Negative 1. Yes? Well, even if I did it to the other side, I still wouldn't really be making a change. But the reason I don't want to do it to the other side is because I'm trying to get my equation in this form. I know, but I don't understand. Okay, well, let's put it this way. If I add 1 over there and then add 1 over here, okay, and then I factor, I would now have y plus 1 equals yada, yada, yada. And so then I would just want y by itself. So what would I do? Subtract. I would subtract 1 from both sides to get y by itself. So we've taken two steps and we put it down to one. Okay? All right? Now, tonight for homework, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be taking equations that are in standard form and you're going to be putting them into vertex form by completing the square. Out. This room is out to get me. Now, <coughs> to complete the square, I'm only going to be concerned with the x squared and the x term because the 50 is going to throw me off. All right? So, if I'm going to complete the square of what I just boxed off, what's the problem? Three. There's a 3 in front of the x squared. So... I'm going to factor it out of only what's in that, that box. Because, and even if it's not a common factor, you have to take it out. You may end up with a fraction in front of the next one. But you have to make x squared have a coefficient of 1. You take out x, you can't divide it. Don't take out x. We're not trying to take out x. We're going to try to create a perfect square trinomial. All right? So if I factor out a 3, it leaves me with x squared plus 8x, correct? And I'm going to want to complete this. I still have my plus 50. And if I'm going to add something to this side of the equation and throw it out of whack, then I'm also going to have to subtract it to get it back together where it's supposed to be. All right, so right now what we're doing here is we're just rearranging the equation because let's look at the first line and the second line and see if there's really any difference whatsoever okay y equals y equals 3x squared well if I distribute it here what would I get 3x squared plus 24x plus 24x plus 50 plus 50 so I really haven't changed anything, have I? I'm just getting myself set up to be able to put it in the form I want to put it in. Okay? So now, to complete the square, I only need to focus on this right here. That's the trinomial I'm working with. What's the number that goes in the box? 
16. 16, okay, but I'm going to write it as 4 squared. Just for factoring purposes. But here I'm going to actually write it as 16 because I don't need to factor it. I need to subtract 50. Wait, is it always going to be minus 16 or is it the opposite? It's always going to be minus because this is always going to be plus. Okay, to complete the square, you always add, which means you're always going to subtract. Okay, so now I still have y, I still have 3. This can be factored to x plus 4 squared. And now when I add plus 50 minus 16, I get plus 36. And so my equation is in vertex form. I'm sorry. See, that's why I have y'all in here, to keep me right. Not because, like, I, you have to be in here. Like, I chose y'all, you know. How does it open? It opens up. What's the vertex? Negative 4, 34. Very good. Negative 4, 34. Yes, sir. What happened to the uh, 4x squared? What 4x squared? No, I mean 4 squared. What happened to it? This created a trinomial, and I factored it down to x plus 4 times x plus 4. No. It's the factorization of x squared plus 8x plus 16. It's 4 squared is 16. When you factor that, you get x plus 4 times x plus 4, which can simply be written as x plus 4 squared, which is the goal. That's what we're trying to do. Now, look closely at this. Tell me what you notice. It's already, uh, x plus five. it's already a perfect square trinomial. So we don't have to scoot the 25 over and go through that whole shebang. It's already there. So all I need to do is factor the trinomial. And that's it. That's it. No, I didn't add 25 to it. It was already there. I didn't add or take away anything from it. I just rearranged it. Okay. What's the number understood to be in front of here? And what's the number understood to be added to the back side? Zero. So you don't have to put the one and the zero in the final answer, but I'm trying to let you see that we do know our direction of opening. And, because I know somebody would say, but there's no y-coordinate of the vertex. Yes, there is. The y-coordinate of the vertex is 0. And the x-coordinate is negative 5. Okay? So, as your final equation, though, you wouldn't put these things. You would just have y equals x plus 5 squared. That's already in vertex form. How am I going to complete the square when there's no x? You can't. Okay? This is in vertex form. Let me show you what it would look like if you're trying to identify your things. 